By the time she touched down, tensions were ratcheting up. An American this senior on this soil is provocative. Tonight, China has launched a joint military operation around the island, including firing long-range ammunition and testing guided weapons. It is a display of military might as well as anger. The US and Taiwan have colluded to make provocations first, and China has only been compelled to act out of self-defense. In the face of the US's unscrupulous behavior in defiance of China's repeated and serious complaints, any countermeasures China is taking will be justified and necessary. Arriving to applause in the capital, Taipei, Nancy Pelosi said, our congressional delegation's visit to Taiwan honors America's unwavering commitment to supporting Taiwan's vibrant democracy. America's solidarity with the 23 million people of Taiwan is more important today than ever, as the world faces a choice between autocracy and democracy. The United States continues to oppose unilateral efforts to change the status quo. It's pretty hard to get her to back down once something becomes a public dispute. And certainly, by the time this became a topic as to whether she should go or not, it was already too late, knowing the speaker, uh, to persuade her otherwise. And it probably wasn't in our interest at that point to let China talk us out of it, even if maybe it would have been better that she not go at all in the first place. The self-governing island is surrounded by South Korea and Japan to the north and the Philippines to the south. But China is its closest neighbor, just 112 miles away. Later this week, in six areas surrounding Taiwan, the Chinese military is expected to carry out further exercises, including live fire drills. Nancy Pelosi's trip may be creating a buzz, but it is not unprecedented. Speaker Newt Gingrich visited 25 years ago, but back then China was not the economic and military superpower it is today. The only US president to set foot in Taiwan was Dwight Eisenhower in 1960. This trip is largely popular with members of Congress, but in the 3D chess of international diplomacy, the privately voiced reticence in the White House and Pentagon may be linked to concerns about a different part of the world, Ukraine. So far, the Chinese have not provided any significant military support to Vladimir Putin, such as their world-class drones. But some here worry this visit may mean that could change. Tomorrow, Speaker Pelosi is expected to visit Taiwan's parliament, meet the president and host a lunch. This controversial trip is just getting started. Joe Pike, Sky News, Washington.